everyone welcome to my channel so yeah the new suicide squad the suicide squad okay so the plot is you know amanda waller put a cheap bomb inside super villains and forced them to work for our organization now now let me just get this out of the way the character you see in the trailer such as saban blackguard ttk javelin mongal and weasel they have only like less than a minute of screen time they just died in a second and what's so cool about this is they also killed captain boomerang with them the main squad is blood sport peacemaker polka dot man king shark and red catcher 2 and of course harley quinn and the mission that they complete is find out about us involvement in project starfish which their mission is to destroy the lab so us gets out of the heat but they got revelers and plus and beat Starro the main villain, a giant alien starfish who control others through attaching smaller version of himself in their faces. It's R-rated and not sequel but a standalone, although couple of characters appeared from the 26, 2016 Suicide Squad such as Harley Quinn or Boomerang and the Hammond or other. But James Gunn killed them off such as Rick Fleck too. Now where the movie started with no character building and when character somehow grows, it's get killed off without any obvious purpose. For example, Polka Dotman. The movie is not funny or cool, but it's a bloody one. The kind suicide, the kind of movie Suicide Squad needs to be. Margot Robbie nailed her role. Blood Spot is great. Sylvester Stallone is as King Shark is a, is one of the unforgettable performances. The giant starfish as villain is kind of like 2016 Ghostbuster climax scene, which is amateur kind of. My opinion is that the hype of the movie is way too much. James Gunn said it's the biggest movie of his career, but he failed. Uh, I appreciate his hard work, but killing every character became predictable after a while. Now, comparison with the Suicide Squad 2016 and this one, 2016 Suicide Squad was. Uh, Charismatic, even though it failed critically, but it was charismatic, but uh, also commercial, it made like uh, $746 million with $175 million budget. Whereas this one has like $185 million budget, even though it uh, critically very successful, but it will never level, level commercially with 2016 one. Somehow they make us expect so much, but they fail to deliver.